Some distant hung up recollection or reflection had taken hold of the other boy's mind, and he had to turn around and look carefully at Lousy to understand what reaction was expected of him at that moment when he had been dreaming. Lausanne's sad eyes he saw, set somewhat close on each side of a long, strange nose. Something shrouded and hidden beneath a large brown felt hat, the only one in the gang wearing a hat and revealing nothing but an expectant laugh blazing wildly with youth in the close-up eyes. The long jaw, long mouth drawn to wait and see him. Lousy, Albert Lauzon, the human cave-in, he had a cave-in chest. The kid Lousy, world's champion silent spitter. Now Sonny Alberge, tall and athletic and handsome, became Boston Brave shortstop in a few years, with a big clean teeth smile, a real bumpkin boy in his prime at home. His father was a little sad shrivelly man who adored him. Sonny responded to his father like an Ozark hero, grave and Billy the Kid tender, but with French Canadian stern gravity that knows what's coming to everybody in heaven. Later on, inside time, Meanwhile, insanely, our cousins Edgar and Roland have sneaked off with the firecrackers to the backyard, in like leering devils, which they aren't really, but as much as like satyrs and mockers and bestriders of misfortune. There they are, setting off all our precious firecrackers, Nins and mine and Gerard's, at midnight, callously, a veritable burning of the books of the Duluazes. <laughs> 